Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you a couple of tips on how to make your computer run faster if it's running slow. I'm going to break down this video into two different segments. The first will be programs that you can download and use on your computer to help it run faster. And in the second part, I'm going to show you how to fix or make your computer faster with applications that are already on your PC. So let's get started. The first two programs that I want to show you guys are called Defragler and CCleaner and they're both made by the same company. If you open up your internet browser and go to pyroforum.com you can download both of these programs for free and basically what Defragler does is it picks up all the fragments left over by files on your computer and rearranges them on your computer so it opens up more space so if you download and open up uh, Defragler and hit Analyze, it'll scan your disk for all these fragmented parts. And as you can see right now, it's showing that I have 1,600 fragmented files and they're taking up 35 gigabytes on my hard drive, which is a lot. So if I were to hit Defrag, it would clean up those defragmented files as best as it could and hopefully give me maybe half of that space back and normally this uh, method of defragging takes between an hour and two hours to complete so it'd be best to do this when you're not around or at nighttime before you go to bed and now the next program I'm going to show you is CCleaner and what this does is find it finds a bunch of files on your computer that you don't need and erases them off of your computer. And you want to be careful because if you go under system and you start or system or advanced and you start um, selecting the wrong things to delete, it could mess up your computer. But as long as you have the things checked that I have checked, you should be fine. So obviously on any internet browser you can erase all your temporary internet files and your history and everything. Um, under the system I only really am concerned with the recycling bin, the temporary files, and the clipboard. If you've never cleaned out your temporary files folder there could be a ton of stuff in there taking up space on your computer. And if you click on the applications tab up at the top it just brings up more um, programs that you've installed onto your computer and if you scroll down um, sometimes they automatically have reg edit checked you want to uncheck that because you don't want to delete anything in your registry editor so after you have everything selected you're gonna hit analyze and it'll scan your computer for those files and as you can see it finished and it shows that I have 519 megabytes that can be removed from my computer and if you just hit run cleaner it'll erase all of these files off your computer and if you've never done this before you could have upwards to 20 gigabytes in here of just stuff that doesn't need to be on your computer that can be erased so it'd be useful to use this program and erasing stuff off from your computer Another thing that could be affecting your performance of your PC is the temperatures that it's running at. So if you download this program called CoreTemp, which you can find online, I'll post the link below. It's a free program and basically all it does is tell you how hot your PC is running at. And it has a precautionary tool um, called Overheat Protection. And basically you can set whatever temperature you want and if your computer starts getting over that temp it'll automatically shut down your PC so your CPU won't get fried so this is a good method in controlling how hot your computer does get and as I said if it does get too hot it could start ruining things inside your computer which will affect the performance of it and a fourth program that you might want to look at installing is called Malwarebytes Anti-Malware which you can also get online for free and I'll post that link below as well and basically what this is is an antivirus anti-malware program it's completely free 
and it actually works really well for being free. It's one of the best out there. So obviously all you'd have to do is scan your computer and if it found any viruses it'll delete them off automatically. So with these four programs, especially if you use them all together, you should be able to free up a ton of memory on your computer and hopefully allow it to run a lot faster. And now I'm going to show you a few methods um, that are already integrated into Windows that you can use to free up space on your computer which will allow it to run quicker. One would be to go to the control panel and look at the programs that you've downloaded or installed and I would sort them by size and as you can see I have a couple large programs in here um, but I use those so obviously I'm not going to delete them but if you have larger files in here I know HP automatically gives you HP games on your computer which takes up like three or four gigabytes of memory or space um, you don't really need those HP games unless you're absolutely in love with them and you play them every day so you can delete those but yeah if there's anything in here that's taking up a ton of space you can just uninstall it and get that space back on your computer and another way to allow your computer to start up quicker and um, hopefully make your system run faster is to go to your run, co run command and type in msconfig and click on your startup programs now if you don't have a very powerful computer or laptop and you have a ton of startup programs um, that start up when you when you turn your PC on it's gonna affect how fast it starts up and how fast it runs because all these programs will be running in the background so you can uncheck things that you don't need um, if you're using a laptop and, and you have an NVIDIA graphics card or like the Synaptics mouse pad in your audio, you're not going to want to disable those. But I mean, in my case, I have Pure Block on there to automatically load, Rocket Dock. Those don't need to be automatically um, loading as soon as the computer turns on because I installed those programs myself so technically I could disable those if I wanted to one last thing that I wanted to show you guys is if you type in control alt delete and go to your task manager if you click on processes and sort these processes by how, many, how much CPU they're using you can see what's putting a heavy burden on your CPU and if there's something on there that you're not even using right now you can just click on it and press end process and it'll automatically end it while your computer is running as soon as you restart your computer if it's like a system process it might just appear back on here um, as you can see my system item process is all the way up almost and that's just because I'm not putting a heavy toll on my CPU right now but if you guys are seeing things that are taking up a lot of CPU power you can just click on them and end their process and also while you're on this menu if you click on performance you can see how much memory you've used up and if your free memory is getting too low like mine's really low, low right now I might want to restart my computer soon because it'll start making my computer run a lot slower as you can see I mean I have 8 gigs of memory and I've used about 2 gigs of it and my computer hasn't even been on for a long time so if that goes down to around a thousand I might want to restart my computer because it will start uh, lacking in performance and as soon as you restart your computer all your memory will load back in you guys should know that alright guys I hope you like this video and I wanted to add one more thing into this commentary if none of these methods have worked for you and your computer or laptop is around four years or older and you've never upgraded it it's probably because you need a new computer or laptop so I just wanted to leave you guys with that thought and don't forget to comment like or subscribe 
And if you haven't seen my other videos, my last video showed how to hack someone's Windows logon password if you don't know it. And the video before that showed how to hack a wireless network. So if you guys want, you can go check those out. And as always, have a great day.